This has not been a pleasurable ride whatsoever. It's definitely green fly season. I'm getting bombarded, they're all over me, in my hair, in my eyes, all of, oh, fuck, in my mouth, absolutely all over. I'm just riddled in green fly. Oh, in my eyes and everything. I can feel them crawling through my hair. So yeah, this has definitely not been a pleasurable experience. <laughs> oh, little green fly. Won't you just fuck off and die a horrible death? Oh, little green fly, won't you just die? Please go away and kill yourself on a car fucking windshield. There is, without a doubt, a huge green fly orgy as we speak within my hair. Disgusting little vermin. Absolutely buzzing. I've just found a little fucking shortcut. I'm gonna be there in 10 minutes. I'm buzzing. Ben's gutted. Ben is gonna be absolutely gutted. He's got so long. I've just spoke to him. He's at, he's at the shop. He's getting some food. Oh, how lucky is that? So, um, reached the wood now, as you can tell. About to get into this wood to camp base and put my tent up first and then get the tarp up because it looks like it's going to start raining. Luckily, I've brought some spare clothes and then uh, have a quick bite to eat and a coffee and a cig and uh, get to work on building this uh, log cabin or log shelter All right and hopefully by the time we've had a cig and some coffee and stuff Ben should be here so that'll be good to see how his journey's been what trials and tribulations he has had in my eyes all of oh, fuck in my mouth a huge green fly orgy Green fly orgy. Green fly orgy. Anyway, for now, I'll speak to you later. I hate the fact that these mosquitoes aren't bothering you. Why? Because they are me. I'm standing outside waiting, waiting for you. You were always taking time, baby, playing with you. So I'm just coming away now to collect some firewood. I'm not sure how well the camera's picking this up, but there's um, this wood is just completely infested with like mosquitoes and green flies. So I'm being attacked all over here. The worst thing is I'm kicking myself because before I set out, um, I did pick up my mosquito net. It's like a little hat that has a net that covers your face so you can't be bitten. And sorry, there's a plane flying over. Um, and I picked it up, looked at it, and I thought, nah, I should be all right. Threw it back in and didn't come out with it. So now I'm paying the price. And I just hope that tonight when I'm on the ground, I don't get bit to death. And um, hopefully it will calm down by then, so. It's really weird when you're walking, walking by or walking through these woods 
and you see that all the ends, ends of these pines have just turned like an aluminous green, like a really bright green in comparison. And these are all the new offshoots of this, this tree. And it's just strange because you never see that happen, do you? Like, it's kind of one day you just turn up and it's like, wow, that grew quick. Me and Ben are back at camp base and we've decided that we're going to build a log cabin today so every time we come back we, we can kind of store some wood up. It just means we can come late at night or any time through the day. Basically any time and just have some firewood there. So um, that is the plan today. So we're trying to make the best of a bad situation here, got a fire going because um, obviously this smoke will kill the mosquitoes and to be fair it has died down quite a bit since we started this fire. But I've never ever ever been so surrounded by mosquitoes that are just attacking every little bit of me. Yeah like we maybe should have caught it on video to be fair but it got to a point where it was like just unbearable. You couldn't sit for five minutes without twitching, flinching, or whacking something away from your face. So we quickly made the scrappiest fire we could. But it's produced a lot of smoke and it's cleared up massively. Like I just said to Junior how nice it is to breathe without having to whack away a mosquito from your face or something. So. But like the main thing is the smoke's masking our scent. Yeah. Which is what they go for. Yeah, so if anyone is having problems, obviously like I said to you on my way here, it is the season or it's starting to become the season now where you're going to get attacked by mosquitoes and midges and black fly. It's all to do with your scent, so if you can mask your scent, then you're onto a winner. If not, you're going to suffer and nobody enjoys suffering while you're trying to enjoy camping. Why this tree is orange? You know what all that is? Never seen that before. It's got like um, an orange growth on its back. It doesn't come off. Um, maybe it's got some kind of I don't know infection or something. But it goes right up the tree, like there's a branch just up there. And you can see it goes right the way up. Beautiful, beautiful weather. It's not it's not exactly sunny, but it's just that nice weather where you can work in it without becoming too sweaty, too horrible. And um it's definitely not cold, so that's a good thing as well. And I'm the worst person ever for mosquitoes and bugs and things like that. Anything that really flaps to be fair. Like if I go on holiday. I can't get to sleep if there's one mosquito in that room. If something flies by my ear with that bzzz, then there's no chance of me sleeping until that thing's executed. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna chill out around the fire. We've got loads of food. So tonight should be good as always. And we start, get the fuck off me. Sorry, mosquito thought he was cool. I'm trying to bite me while I'm on camera. Um. So yeah, where was I? I've got a book as well, I've brought a book along with me tonight, so I'm going to do a spot of reading. And um, the book is called Sleeping Giants, and from what I can make out, 
well it is about extraterrestrial type stuff but i'm just not sure whether these extraterrestrials are good or bad but it's an interesting story obviously science fiction um but yeah it's a good read so this is dinner for tonight this is what me and junior are going to be eating uh we've got some mango and coconut chicken mini fillets which should go down a treat and then we've got some chicken breast fillets as well so we're going all carnivorous tonight out with you also got some sausage as well. Oh, that's nice, mate. Yeah, just drop the old tap on me. This is interesting for our viewers. You can move it anytime you want, mate. Really? Yeah. There's the log shed finished. Sorry that we didn't really get much footage of us in the process of building this. We just kind of wanted to get finished, to be fair. But I'm sure we'll be doing others that are quite similar. You can't see the shelf, I don't think. The shelf is just in there. That's got all our tools on and stuff. And obviously the log shed is bone dry inside where we've already been prepping a bit of wood for this for tonight, so. Having one of the worst night's sleeps. Ever. It's like quarter past three in the morning. I'm in a baby bag on the floor. And I'm getting eaten alive. It's rained all night so heavy. You can hear the rain now. It's not stopped for hours. And if I get inside the bivvy and pull the hood up, I start to sweat massively. If I pull the hood, the hood down, I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. It's just absolutely terrible tonight. This is how it goes sometimes though, unfortunately. Jimmy's next to me in his tent. Snoring his head off, having the best night's sleep ever. Last night was absolutely horrendous. Um, I was just laid there. I checked in with you guys at about quarter past three, I think it was. And the weather just did not let up all night. So from that point on, well, from when, we, when I went to bed, just after 12, um, till this morning, the weather's been full on, continuously just downpour, downpour. Um, I woke up at quarter past three, maybe got me head down again for half an hour, and then woke up again a half an hour later and it went like that all night. Did a lot of work yesterday, a lot of cutting, made that shed. So I'm making like mad, I'm sleep deprived and probably not a very nice person today. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to sort myself out, start waking up a bit. And to top it off, we haven't even brought coffee this time with us. What a nightmare. So that's another wild camp done. Um, like I said to you before in the previous video, the weather last night was really, really bad and I didn't get much sleep at all. So I am a bit groggy today, but it's another one for the books, another one for the record. And uh, up until getting into the bivvy bag and going to sleep, it was a really good night. Once the rain started and we'd settled down, it was all downhill for me there. I don't know how Junior slept. Um, I slept, I slept all right, but uh, I think I've done my back in moving this log. It's not exactly a light log, is it? I mean, it took us forever. And the distance, I think we moved it as well. We did some work last yesterday, guys. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we've got the uh, log shed finished now. You can see all the woods in there. Um, got, so all that's done. Got the top bit to finish. Yeah. Um, and it's dry as well. So after all that rain we had last night, it's actually quite dry, all this wood here. So. And it was like a monsoon. You can see the mosquitoes are coming back now. So we're heading out. This is us for now. 
and uh, until next time which i think won't be here it'll be somewhere else uh, not sure where that'll be but we will be venturing out to um to somewhere else change the scenery but until next time guys like we always say junior is there anything you want to say um it's been enjoyable got lot got something built up and uh it just feels good it's, it's starting to become a home away from home yeah so guys, take it easy, look after yourselves, and like I always say, comment in the box below, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the like button, share this on your social media platforms, and also as well, if you hit the little bell icon, it means that if you enjoyed this video, you'll get notific notifications whenever we post in future. So take it easy, guys, and uh, peace. You'll too. Do it on purpose now, aren't you? Yep. What a twat. <laughs> <laughs> you too, guys. Toodle too. <laughs> 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 Turtle poo tuna, guys. Bye. 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 See you. All right. Let's. <laughs> <laughs>